Hi, I'm Carl Ricciolo. I'm the director of the retina service at Wills Eye Hospital and professor of ophthalmology at Thomas Jefferson University here in Philadelphia. I'm going to bring you up to speed on what's new and emerging for the treatments of AMD or age-related macular degeneration. This past year, 2022, was a big year uh, for advances in wet AMD treatments. We had a new FDA-approved product called Ferisimab. It's an injectable biologic. It's in the category of an anti-VEGF agent, similar to what we've had in the past, but it has an added mechanism of action, blocking what's called angiopoietin-2. And that dual mechanism uh, is giving us greater durability, longer duration of effect when we inject these drugs for wet AMD. So that was a big step forward to get longer acting injectable drugs for our patients with wet AMD. And 2023 proves to be also promising with regards to further advances in wet AMD treatment as we had a recent phase three clinical trial which showed another type of anti-VEGF called high dose aflibercept which had a good phase three program also showing uh, great durability or great duration of effect of that biologic, again, for wet AMD. So we're making ongoing progress or advances in wet AMD, and it's great for our patients to be able to get good control of this condition, good visual outcomes, and potentially with less treatments needed to do so. Now, what about what's called dry AMD, the advanced form being that geographic atrophy? That's also a cause for severe vision loss and unfortunately, up till now, we've had no treatments for this advanced form of dry MD. But 2023, things could change. Again, we've had some very favorable phase three study results with two products. These are complement inhibitors. These are molecules that we can inject in the eye. Uh, and they're showing good effect in reducing the progression of geographic atrophy. So that would potentially slow vision loss for our patients with this advanced form of dry AMD. So 2023, we might see FDA approval of one or both of these complement inhibitors. And that will be for the first time, this big advance of a treatment that's effective for managing this dry AMD called geographic atrophy. So stay tuned, more advances are coming and it looks very bright for the future of treating both wet and dry macular degeneration. Once again, I'm Carl Ruggiello here at Will's Eye Hospital in Philadelphia.